The Holocaust, one of the darkest times in history. But throughout the darkness, there were little lights that fought against the persecution of Jews. They created hope, something people hadn't had in a long time. And among these lights was Tina Strobos. Strobos was only 19 when the Nazis invaded the Netherlands. At the time, Strobos was going to a medical university. All students were forced to sign a loyalty oath to Hitler, but she and 95% of the other students refused to sign, so the university was closed. From the first day, she and her mother hid terrified Jews in their house. Her and many other people were part of the underground resistance. At one point, she had her Jewish fiancé in her attic as well. The courage of everyone in the operation must have been immensely large because they would risk their lives for others to save them. With the Gestapo noticing the decrease of Jews to send to the concentration camps, they got suspicious and searched Strobos' house nine times. A lot of money that she owned was somehow put towards hiding Jews and fake identities for them. The coupons Strobos got for food were used for herself, her mother, and the Jews hiding in their attic. But with all the risk of being caught, she only kept four to five Jews at once. Tina Strobos always said that, they would, that she would risk her life to save another family if she had the chance. She would have risked her life to keep another secret and risk her life to fight for what she believed in. Amsterdam was a large spot for hiding Jews but all of the spots had risks. Anne Frank was hidden in Amsterdam as well, and in Strobos' later life, she had said that if she had known that Anne Frank and her family were only a few streets away, she would have gotten them out of the country. When the war ended, Tina Strobos has saved more than 100 Jewish lives and is seen by many as the ultimate rescuer. I never believed in God, she once said, but I believed in the sacredness of life. This quote represents how right-minded Strobos was. She didn't care that they believed in God or that they were Jewish, but that they were being treated horribly. She believed that all life is sacred and how the Nazis were killing millions of Jewish people. She couldn't stand it, so she took action. It's the right thing to do. She once said when she was asked why she had taken such a big risk. Your conscience tells you to do it. I believe in heroism, and when you're young, you want to do dangerous things. Adding to the fact she was young and she thought she could do anything, her conscience told her to save the Jews. 67 years after World War II, that killed over 6 million people, Tina Strobos died on February 27, 2012 in Rye, New York. The legacy of Tina Strobos is an incredible story and has inspired the world to do what they believe in and fight for it.